Okay, this is going to be a very simple video that 99% of people won't care about, but for the 1%, this will help. Troubleshoot, if you've got a Tamron lens, in this case, I've got the 150, the 600 G2, trying to mount the EF version to my RF Canon R6, having a few problems where the Canon would go into power saving mode and it would the lens would not focus correctly when you press autofocus. It would switch to like a manual focus mode and look really weird, it wasn't right. I got the tapping console from Tamron, the official one, to update the firmware and I ran into another problem where for some reason couldn't detect the lens, lens not connected. I spent longer than I'd like to admit figuring out why that was and the short answer, which after reading a lot of reviews on Amazon that I think a lot of people had the same problem with, is they downloaded the wrong utility. If your utility looks like this, and it says Tamron Lens Utility, that's not what you want. What you want is a Tamron Tapping Utility, which looks completely different, different download page. That is what you need to connect your lens to the camera. Something else that people run into is that only certain lenses are compatible. So I'm going to put a link to the list of compatible lenses from the Japanese Tamron website. And it will also specify for the SP35 and SP45 lenses. If you are on version one of that lens firmware, you have to send the lens off the Tamron to get it updated to two before it will work with the tapping utility. If you've got the G2 150 to 600 like I have, you'll scroll down on the list and you'll find that it is compatible. So you can find all that information on this link. As for the download for the correct utility, I'll also put a download link on the video. Specifically, it says tap in utility and it has the correct screenshots and everything. For some reason, the Tamron support website doesn't directly link you to this utility and it took a while to actually find the correct one, which is why I ended up finding the wrong one first before I found the correct one. I'm running Windows 10 at the moment and Windows 11, they both work fine, I've tested it. Once you've downloaded it here and then you get the right utility and you connect it after you've installed the utility, you will need a firmware update, it will automatically prompt you. It won't be this dark grey one, it will be this white one here and it will prompt you to do that. Once that's done, then you can map, attach the uh, Tapping console to lens, you'll get a blue light showing that it's working. If you have the wrong software, you won't have gotten that blue light and all your details will appear here properly. And then you can click firmware update, update your lens. Perfect. Problem one solved. Problem two with the Canon, you need to go into your settings with the little wrench icon, page two down the power saving and then you need to do auto power off by default it's 30 seconds or a minute or three minutes whatever you've got set to disable what this does is it puts the camera into effectively a soft off mode unless you press a button to turn it back on wake it up from being on sleep and for whatever reason when that happens when it goes into off the lens stops working properly so just get used to turning your camera off when you're not actually using it. Once you've actually set this page and that's all good, then the lens will work properly. So that's it. That's like literally the two steps you need. Now my lens works properly with my Canon R6. Firmware's up to date, good to go. Can't wait to use it. And hopefully this helps the 1% of people who need it like I did because it's embarrassing, but there's so many situations I end up in when I have to troubleshoot something very, very specific and I just crawl the internet for ages and I search YouTube until you find that one thing that solves it. And in this case, I didn't find a specific video that solved the problem. So here it is now, enjoy.